Well, praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. It is so good to be with you again this evening. I just want to thank you all for joining us here at New Life in Christ Jesus Church, where Jesus Christ is glorified. Well, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we come to you now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, that your hand continue resting upon us. And God, I thank you, Father, for those that are the, the listeners that are, that are tuning in to these broadcasters, Father. And I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as you prepare our hearts, that we will not only hear what you say, Father, but we will do what you say. We will not just be hearers of the words only, Father, but we'll be doers of the word. So, Father, we thank you and we bless your name. We glorify your name. Now, Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you anoint every ear to hear, prepare every heart to receive. I ask you, Lord, to make my tongue as of a pen of a ready writer to write your word upon the hearts and upon the mind of your people that they will know the truth and that the truth shall make them free. And, Father, we covenant with you now that we will give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty and majestic name. Amen and amen. Well, glory to God. God bless you. Welcome to New Life in Christ Jesus Church, where we are here to exalt, build up, encourage you to stand in the gap and to make up the hedge and go forth establishing the kingdom of God in power. Amen. Well, I want to thank you all again. Now, uh, we've been doing this now uh, for uh, this prayer, uh, intercessory prayer uh, teaching. We've been doing this now uh, so since the first of the year. Actually, we were doing it before, but we, we, we cut it off. But God told me to get back to teaching it again. And so on Wednesday nights, on Wednesday services, this is what we do right now. We are teaching on intercessory prayer, and then we are standing on the Word of God and interceding at the end of the, this this service today. We're going to be uh, we're going to be praying. We're going to be standing in the gap. We're going to be praying for people. Okay, and also, and also, uh, we are want to we're going to be establishing where you will be able to call in your prayer requests as we are going forth. And by the way, if you want to call in your prayer request right now, well, you can probably call it in now. Amen. If, uh, because I, we, 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 my, I got someone here that can pray for you right now. Amen. Those that might need uh, a prayer. Amen. And so if you want to, you can call 916 for 916-488-1448. That's 916-488-1448. Amen. If you have a prayer request right now and uh, you just need someone to enter, to come in agreement with you, well, we have someone right now that ready to enter, to, to uh, stand in agreement with you right now. Amen. And so, uh, but, but I want also to encourage you that on Thursdays and Fridays, we are praying three times a day on Thursdays and Fridays right now until the Lord says until the, until the Lord says uh, something different. But he's, he he ministered to my heart, and so last week on Thursday and Friday we begin uh, three times a day prayer at nine in the morning, twelve at noon, and three in the evening, and that's only for ten minutes. Amen. Interceding. Making up the head and standing the gap for the body of Christ and for the Jews, and Mr. The, uh, the, the Jerusalem, Amen. And so, as we as we pray, we want you to be a part of what God is doing because, see, we're in the last days, folks. And if you look around you, you'll see that things is not as normal as it used to be anymore. Things are beginning to change very quickly, Amen. And so we want to help. We want we want to help the body of Christ to by 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 praying, Amen. And then believing that you going to take a hold of this, and you're going to start praying also, Amen, with us. So at nine in the morning, that's tomorrow morning. That's nine in the morning, and then twelve at noon, and then again at three in the evening, we're going to come together. And we're going to come in agreement. We're going to pray. We're going to pray for the body of Christ that God would, uh, I mean, just, that God would just uh, secure the body of Christ and, 
and, and, and watch over the body of Christ. Why? Because the body of Christ is under a lot of terrorist attack. Amen. It's under a lot of terrorist attack. And God do not want you to be fearful. He does not want you to be uh, overcome with evil. But he wants you to begin to overcome evil with good. Amen. How are you going to do that? You're going to do that by standing in the gap and making up your head. You're going to start praying. You're going to start seeking the face of God. And you're going to believe God for the people that you're praying for, that God prays upon your heart. You're going to believe God for their deliverance, for their for, that God would intervene on their behalf. Amen. How many of you know that that uh, God is one to save the Muslims as well as uh, uh, everyone else? See, God created them. Yes, God wants to save them. Amen. But we have to intercede. We have to pray. It's our job. That's what that's our, that's that's what we that's what God has called us for in His last days. Amen. Because if we don't pray, you see how the world is trying to. The world is the world is being hijacked, whether you know it or not. America is being hijacked. I put it like this: the America is being hijacked, and we, as a body of Christ, we have to pray now more than ever before, because see, we don't know what to what's going to happen tomorrow. Amen. The way the way things are changing, the way things are going right now, there's so much going on behind the scene that you're not even aware of. And you'd be surprised if you would begin to understand what's going on. Amen. But right now, we just gonna be we just gonna pray for the body of Christ. And we're gonna be praying for Jerusalem. That's nine in the morning, twelve at noon, and three in the evening. And this is only for this is only for for uh uh this is only for uh uh ten minutes a day, amen. Ten minutes a day. We want you all to be to just join us. Amen. That's starting tomorrow morning at 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, and 3 in the evening. Amen. And so we want you to join us. God bless you. Amen. 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 Now, uh, I want to uh, also encourage you all to, 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 to uh, you know, when we're having these, these sessions like this, encourage your friends. Encourage your friends to also... Encourage your friends to pray. You know, how many know that the church, the, you know, even the churches that we are attending, how many know that, that they need prayer? Amen? So we want to ask you to encourage your people around you to pray. They might well say, well, what are we going to be praying? What are you going to pray for? Well, pray that, pray for the, pray, pray, just pray because see, God said, "Bless them that that persecute you, and and do and you know and curse not." God wants us to to pray for those people because see, when you come in under attack, you, you don't launch back out. You somebody come up to you, somebody come up to you. You don't. God God don't want us to take a, a, a double bass shotgun or a baseball stick and try to run the devil off. You'll never beat him that way. That's why he tell us in Ephesians chapter six and verse number. Verse number 10, he said, Find my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And he said, Put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. So we want to put on the whole armor of God. We want to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So God, we're going to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. We're going to gird up our lawn with the truth. We're going to put on the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet are going to be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, we're going to take the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. We're going to take the heaven of salvation, which is the sword of spirit. Amen. We're going to take the heaven of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. And with all man and prayer and supplication, we're going to come boldly, boldly before the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Amen. And so I want to encourage you all to just be strong and of good courage. Be strong and of good courage. Amen. Because God is about, God is, God is doing something right now. And he's preparing the heart of his people. And we want you to be ready. We want you to be ready. Amen. So right now, we go, here go to, I'll phone them again. For those of you that might want to be prayed for during this section, you can call in for prayer. Amen. 
you can call in for prayer. That number you can call in is 916-488-1448. Amen. That's 916-448-1448. Amen. That's 916-488-1448. So we're going to ask you to, you know, if you have a prayer request today, you feel free to just call it in. We will be glad to pray with you even right now while we are going, while we're in this, in this, uh, Service today, Amen, Amen, Amen. Well, I want to turn your attention to do today. I want to turn your attention, Amen, to uh, because see, we we are fasting. We're getting ready to go on a fast, and uh, you know we we're fasting three days out of each month. We're fasting three days out of each month, and we want you all, those of you that are fasting with us, you might say, well, Pastor, well, why are you fasting three days out of each month? Well, during the first 30 year, God told us to. Amen. The first the first 30 year, he said, I want you to fast seven days. But then after the first 30 year, I want you to fast seven days, uh, one, uh, three days out of each month of the year. Amen. Three days out of each month of the year. Glory to God. And so we are, we're, we're, preparing, we're preparing to go on a fast, and we want you all to be ready. We want you all to be ready because, see, we've, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna tear down some demonic strongholds that's been established for decades. That's been established for decades. And we need to, we need to come together in unity. We need to come together in unity and as one. Amen. We need to come together in unity and as one. See, when we come together in unity, oh my God, when we come together in unity, we can see the hand of God moving like never before. Remember the, the Tower of Babel? When the, uh, the devil worshippers were building the Tower of Babel, remember nothing was restrained from them because they operated in one accord. Amen. What they did, they did in one accord. Amen. And so God wants us to come together in one accord. And notice what happened when the people, when the, when the, when the disciples came together in the upper room in one accord, how the Spirit of God moved like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting, and there appeared unto them cloven tongue like as of fire, and it set upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I'm telling you, I believe that God is calling the body of Christ He's calling for his prayer warriors to become in one mind and in one accord in these last days. Prayer warriors, you need to hear what I'm saying. You need to hear what I'm saying because, see, you play a vital part in this end time, whether you know it or not. You play a vital part in this end time because, see, you are the instrument, you are the voice of the Spirit of God that God is going to use to declare and to decree the things that he won't done in this earth in these last days. Because, see, not there, there's so many people that, that, are, that, are, that are acting and proclaiming that they're Christians, but their lifestyle is not uh, living, you, you, the lifestyle is not up to par. And so God is looking for a few good men, amen, a few good women. And then what Uncle Sam said, Uncle Sam was looking for a few good men, a few a few good men, but God is looking for a few good men and a few good women. Amen. People that will make up, uh, people that will that will take their position in this earth and stand strong in God's word, and that's you. Amen. And so, remember when when they were building a tower of Babel, they were in one accord. They spoke the same language. They was doing everything that they decided to do they was able to accomplish because they were in one accord. It's time for the prayer warriors now to become in one accord. It's time for the prayer warriors to become in one accord. Amen? Because this is, that, this is your season to, to, to shine, to arise and shine, for the light has come, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Amen, amen, amen. I want to look at a scripture right now. I want to look at a scripture because, see, we, like I said, we're getting ready to go on a fast, and I want you to, I want you to have your heart together because, see, when we, 
guess you know when we go on a fast and we and we praying these three times a day. How many of you prayed that three times a prayer, that three times a day prayer with me on last week? And how many of you noticed uh, uh, the strength in your spirit afterwards? Because see, all of you that was praying that you know in agreement, you know, all of you that came in agreement with me and prayed on those hours, I prayed special prayers for you all. I prayed a special prayer for you all. Amen. And I asked God to do something very special in your life to show you that what we're doing has been ordained of Him. Amen. You 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 be, you're going to become very you're going to become more sensitive to the spiritual things. You're going to become more open to what God is saying. You're going to hear more distinctly what God is speaking to your heart concerning the things that He's ministering to you. Amen. God is going to, I mean, it's just like your spiritual understanding is going to begin to open up and your perception of the things around you is going to become so real. Amen. Because you're resensitizing yourself to the things of God. When we were praying those prayers three times a day, how do you think that Daniel was able to, 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 to maintain his, his life when he was thrown into the lion's den? It wasn't because he had fellowship with those men, it was because he stayed in fellowship with God. That God sent his angel into the lion's den and shut up the lion's mouth. Amen. Spending time with God through prayer is one of the most powerful uh, source of spiritual strength that we can ever receive. Because see, we are going, we, 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 see, we, we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are far above the principalities and the powers and the might and dominions. Amen. So uh, you have a, 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 a an obligation to your loved ones to to intercede for them, to stand in the gap for them, to pray for them. So this this tomorrow and Friday, that's nine in the morning, twelve at noon, and three in the evening. We're going to be praying. We're going to be praying for. The body of Christ, so that going to include all of your born again siblings, Amen. And that's going to include they're going to include those that those that are those that have, have backslid. Because see, the, the Lord gave me a revelation on Sunday morning. He said the prodigals are coming home. The prodigals are coming home, and I believe that. I believe that, Amen. I believe that. I believe that my my brothers and my sisters, those that are not serving God. I believe that they're going to be saved. I believe they're going to be set free. I believe that God is going to put someone in their path that's going to be able to minister to them. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so we're going to we're going to be uh, doing that. Amen. We're going to be fasting. We're going to be praying. When 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 are we are called to cease to pray? We are never called to cease to pray. We are always admonished to pray. Amen. We are always admonished to pray. I want you to turn with me to the uh, book of Numbers. In the book of Numbers, I want you to look at verse chapter 23. In the book of Numbers, chapter 23. And uh, this is something just on my heart. This is something that's just on my heart. Because, see, God, I, God he's, 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 preparing, he's preparing something very, very unique and very powerful for you. Amen. In chapter 23... And let's look at verse number 19. Now, notice what God is saying here in Numbers chapter 23 and verse number 19. How you doing, uh, Righteous Cried Ministries? Good to see you with us today. And if any of you with us today would like to see you to say, like for you to say hello to us also, let us know that you're there. I really appreciate it. Amen. Glory to God. In Numbers chapter 23 and verse number 19, it says, And God is, and God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent had he had he said and shall he not do it or had he spoken and shall he not make it good amen behold I have received commandment to bless and he had blessed and I cannot reverse it amen so when God released his blessing the blessing cannot be reversed. Amen. Because, see, God's word stands. God's word stands. 
But when God released that blessing upon your life because of your obedience, because you're willing to stand for righteousness in the midst of this darkness all around us, let me tell you something, folks. God is looking right now. I mean, his eye is running throughout the earth to find someone that he can show himself strong through. Because I believe that revival is about to come to our land. Revival is about to come to our land. Amen. And so we are at a time that we can expect to see a move of God. We're gonna have, we need to see a move of God so strongly right now because the enemy he he flexing his muscles. Amen. He's flexing his muscles and God God is looking for someone that he can show himself strong through. He's looking for someone that will be bold, someone that will be strong, someone that will stand in the gap and make up the hedge. Look at uh uh look at uh uh, Exodus, uh, uh, let me see. I want you to look over here in the, the book of uh, Ezekiel 22 and verse 30. He said, I saw for a man among them that shall make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not, that I would, that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Are you there with me? That's uh, Numbers, uh, Ezekiel 22, verse 30. And I saw four men among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. But I found none. Hallelujah. God is doing something right now, folks. And he's calling forth his prayer warriors to begin to make up the hedge and to stand in the gap. You play a vital part today in what God is about to do in the land. Because, see, your voice count. Your voice count. Glory to God. I just want to just put that out there for you. Your voice count. Now look at verse number 20, verse number 31. Therefore have I poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath, their own way have I recompense upon their heads, said the Lord God. See, if we don't stand in the gap, if we don't make up the heads, someone is going to experience the wrath of God that God never intended for you to experience. Amen. See, the church of God, just like in the land of Goshen, when Moses was sent back into Egypt to bring, you know, to, 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 to deliver the children of Israel out of bondage. Notice it was dark in Egypt, but in Goshen, it was still light. Amen. Notice the plagues was hidden in Egypt, but in Goshen, they were still enjoying life. Hallelujah. And when a deaf angel came into Egypt, when it came into all of Egypt, even into Goshen, the only thing that protected them, that the blood was applied over the doorposts because they followed the instructions of the man of God. And God protected them because God was working a supernatural deliverance for his people. And I believe that we're about to experience a supernatural revival that's going to bring, they're going to usher in the power of God into our land like never before. Are you ready for revival? Are you ready to see the hand of God like never before? Folks, I believe we're on that break. That's why we need to pray. That's why I'm encouraging you to pray. Amen. Glory to God. I believe revival is about to break out. I want you to turn your, to turn your attention now uh, back to, uh, let's go to so, Second Chronicles chapter 7. Second Chronicles chapter 7, and I want to look here at uh, verse number 13. 2 Chronicles chapter 7. Oh, she la la ba ka la la ba se. Let's look at, let's look at chapter, uh, she, yeah, chap, chapter 7, verse number 13. It said, if I shut up heaven, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts, 
to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. How many of you know our land need prayer right now? Amen. Our land need prayer right now more than ever. Glory to God. And so it's, and it goes on in verse number 15. It said, Now mine eyes shall be open um, and my ear attend unto the prayers that are made in this place. See, God is waiting to hear the body of Christ, the prayer warriors, as they begin to lift up their voice to God in prayer. Now notice, these are just practice runs that we are doing right now. These three times a day prayer times, uh, 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, 3 in the evening. These are, these are just practice runs to get your heart to get your to get to to get your heart uh, prepared for prayer, cause see, you're gonna be praying more than these three times a day. Right now, this is just a, a this is just preparation to get you to get your mindset in to settle to get your spirit settled for prayer, because see, this is it's gonna take a whole lot more prayer than ten minutes. Amen. But this is just to get us in the in the in the in the groove, amen. This is just to get us in the in the prayer mode, amen. This is gonna usher us right into that place where ten minutes will become like uh, one minute. The, so that ten minutes, oh, before you know it, you don't pay you don't pray twenty thirty minutes, amen. See, this is just something to get you started. But you, you don't, you don't, you don't have to end it at, in ten minutes. You can end it whatever time you want to end it. But the important, the important part is you need to understand that God meets us on these hours. It's just like setting an appointment to go to the dentist. You expect to be there. That dentist is expecting you to be there in that office at that particular appointment time. What we're doing, we are setting appointments to meet with God. Amen. And let me tell you something. God will honor these appointments. He will honor these appointments that we are making with him. That 9 in the morning, that 12 at noon, that 3 in the evening. And guess what? If you miss that appointment, he will, he will, he will uh, 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 make you aware that you just missed your appointment. How many of you know that on last time when we were keeping these appointments with God, that you know you when, you when you forgot to pray on time, that God... Uh, uh, remind you you know why he reminded you because he know that you're just getting started you are just starting out in this and so he's helping you to stay he's helping you to stay firm with your word he's helping you to keep your word because when you say pastor I'm gonna pray with you you saying God I'm gonna meet that appointment with you that's all you saying. you're not talking you're not making your you're not making a confession of me saying I'm gonna pray with you because see I'm not your God I'm an, I'm a, I am a servant just like you, but I'm instructed to direct us in the way of prayer. Amen. So we, when we're praying, we, when, we, when, we, when we start to pray, we, we, we're, set, we're, set, we're keeping a appointment with God. We're sitting up our appointment with God. Amen. And when we enter that appointment, we don't want to enter that appointment uh, proud and boastful. We want to enter in that appointment with a spirit of humility. Oh, she came out of Messiah. Mm, I felt the Holy Ghost on that very strongly. We want to enter into that, into that, in that appointment with a spirit of humility, and we and we gonna say, God, we are in this appointment because you called us to pray for the body of Christ. You called us to pray for your chosen people, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Father, I ask you to direct my heart, direct my thoughts. Let my let my let the the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. What are we doing? We're asking God to to direct us in the way we should pray, the words that we should pray, that they will be acceptable in his sight. Amen. Amen. Because see, we want to pray the words that's going to pierce the kingdom of darkness. You don't have to be afraid of what the 
the, the devil try to do to you. Because see, what you need to know that God has given you power. Uh, Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. God has given you power over all the powers of the enemy. So when we come into God, when we come, when we keep that appointment with God, we want to come with a spirit of humility. Amen. And when we pray, we're going to pray, we're going to pray, and we're going to pray. We're going to pray that God would, would give uh, the body of Christ supernatural insight to walk free from the attacks that the enemy is bringing against. See, because see, he showed us in the book of Second Chronicles when Jehoshaphat was under siege by his neighbor, the, the neighbors, he received word and he what he do? He went and he, he humbled himself and he went to God. And he called a fast. He called a fast. Not only a fast for him, but everybody fast. Even the animals fast. Amen. They all fast. And God began to give him his instructions instructions see because they was outnumbered they was outnumbered from a natural standpoint but when God gave him his instructions he said I want you to send the singers the praise and worshipers out in front of the soldiers send them out there first Set, let them go out there first and let them begin to sing praise and let them begin to worship me hallelujah what happened when they did that the enemy that was coming up against them became confounded. They began to destroy themselves because, see, they was expecting conventional weapons. They were not expecting a weapon of praise and worship. They was as, they was expecting them to come out with with sticks and staves and 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 and, and, and swords. But they came out because, see, one thing one thing we have to realize. That the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Amen. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. To the pulling down a stronghold. Amen. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. To the pulling down a stronghold. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so when we see that. When we see that. It's found in in Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse number four. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Amen. So when we are praying, when when we when we're following God's praying, when we're following God's purpose, friend, we walk in the strength of His presence, of His Spirit. Whether you know it or not, you are a supernatural being. You are created in the image of God. You're supposed to rule and reign on this earth, not to be dominated in this earth. And this is why we have to pray, folks. We have to pray because God has given us an assignment. We have to pray that God will show us His plan because the revival is coming. Revival is coming. He said, If my people which are called by my name, in Second Chronicles chapter chapter 7, verse 14, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. Amen. I will heal their land. Glory to God. You know, we need to come together. Every man of God need to come together right now and start focusing their people on calling upon the name of the Lord. Friend, we don't have much time. The things that is going on in this earth right now that is being done behind the scenes is to undermine you as a child of God, trying to take all of your privileges as a child of God, 
They're coming against your very existence as a child of God. And they're coming, as, they're doing the same thing as they're doing to Jerusalem, to the Jews. They're doing to you because you are a Christian. You have a right to take a bold stand and to cry out. Amen. Notice what he said again in verse number, in verse number, uh, verse number uh, 14. It says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, we have to humble ourselves. We have to humble ourselves. We got to begin to seek the face of God. We got to begin to seek the face of God like never before. God wants to hear from the earth. He wants to hear his people calling upon him. Will you join me tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock? For 10 minutes. Will you join me tomorrow at 12 noon. For 10 minutes. Will you join me tomorrow at 3 in the evening. For 10 minutes. We're going to come in agreement. And we're going to pray. God's divine protection. Over the body of Christ. Not just the people that we know. But the body of Christ. No, you know, they, they've been persecuted in, in these other countries, being beheaded, and so forth and so on. God wants us to pray for them. Amen. We're going to pray at 9 and 1. That's right. 12 at noon and 3 in the evening. Amen. Thanks for posting that up there. Hopefully the people are, are, are viewing us. Amen. So now, so now when we come, like I said, first note, God... God is God. God is going to speak to your heart. God is going to speak to your heart, and He's going to turn the wicked. God is going to, when God speak to you. When God begin to, when we begin to pray, God is going to begin to speak into your heart, directing you which way to pray. Because see, as we begin to pray, there's an enemy that's going to bring up different things in your mind and different things in your heart, trying to get your attention off of what God is placing in your heart to pray. Amen. So you're going to have to, folks, this is a time you can't be double-minded. You're going to have to stay focused. I mean, this is something that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to stay focused. Because, see, I can't help you to focus. I can only direct you in the way that God has instructed me. But you are going to be the one that's going to have to stay focused during that time. Amen. During that time. And I pray that you be successful. Because, see, God is going to, God is going to uh, intensify His anointing upon your life during this time. To, to humble yourself, to bring yourself low before God. Amen. See, when we humble ourselves, we are saying, God, I choose to decrease that you may increase. Amen. I choose to decrease that you may increase. Amen. See, God is looking for someone that's not trying to be seen. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, if they're not in the spotlight, they don't. If they not being the one to get all the attention, they don't want no parts of it. Amen. But listen, folks, it ain't about being in the spotlight right now. It's about going into your hiding place, going into your going to your closet. It's about you becoming uh, 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 isolated from all that you know. And just going into your closet was just you and God. You and God. Amen. Just you and God. And you going to go in that place. And you just going to humble yourself, Father. I humble myself before your mighty hand. Because I know you exalt me in due time. I don't need a pat on the back for my brother. I don't need a pat on the back for my, for my neighbor. I don't need a pat on the back for my employer. I just need your approval, Lord God, that when I come into your presence, that I'm received of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That I'm received of you. How many know that plenty, in the, that many people in the body of Christ has been under attack in their health right now? So when we go to prayer this evening, we're going to pray for the, we're going to pray for the, the, the sick. Amen. We're going to pray for the sick this evening. Because there are many in the body of Christ, the health is being under attack right now. Because the enemy is trying to the enemy is working overtime trying to move them out of out of position. So we're going to pray that God, if, if any of us have sinned, we're going to ask God to forgive our sin. You know, Jesus never sinned, but yet still he took a sin of the world upon his shoulder. 
He never sinned, but yet he took the sin of the world upon his shoulder. So when we begin to pray this evening, we're going to come in agreement, and we're going to, even though we're not committing all the sin in the land, we're going to take the sin of the world, and we're going to be like, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take, we're going to take our position as a intercessor like Jesus. We're going to take the sin of the world upon our shoulder. He didn't, he didn't commit the sin, but yet he took the sin to the cross with him. Amen. And so we're going to take the sin to the, to the mercy, to, to the throne of grace. We're going to take the world's sin upon our shoulder. We're going to take it to the throne of grace where we may obtain mercy for our nation, for, for, the, for all the Christians, for all those that are hurting, all those that are sick, all those that are wounded, all those that are bruised. We're going to take their pain to God this evening. Amen. You may have a loved one. You may be listening to me right now. And you say, Pastor, oh, please, let, let put me on your prayer list. Let me tell you something. You are on my prayer list. That's why we're doing this. Amen. You are on my prayer list. All of you are on my prayer list. That's why we're doing this. Amen. You are the body of Christ. And we are going to pray. We're going to come against the spirit of infirmity. Sickness. We're going to come against the spirit of cancer. We're going to come against that spirit of, of heart disease, of blood disease. Amen. We're going to come against that in the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you remember the word of God said he sent his word to heal. Amen. He sent his word to heal. Amen. And so we're going to, you know, we, we're, going, we're just going to hold God to his word. Amen. Because, see, we have great benefits because we are God's children. Amen. He sent his word to heal. So you have something to be thankful for. Amen. You have something to be thankful for. Glory to God. Glory to God. So we're going to prepare our hearts to pray right now. And we want you to, to join us. We want you to join us in prayer tonight. Remember, we're going to be praying for the sick. We're going to be praying for the fivefold ministries. We're going to be praying for Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father. Oh, I feel your presence so strongly right now, Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Father. We're going to be praying for the... We're going to be praying for our loved ones. How many of you have loved ones right now? God said the prodigals are coming in. We're going to ask God to minister to our loved ones, those that have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and those who have backslid. Amen. Those that, that was raised in the proper environment, but they begin to fellowship or have communication with uh, a different breed of people which might be considered as wicked people and it persuaded them to follow their ways instead of following the way that they were trained to follow. Amen. So we're going to ask God to release the prodigals from the bondage of shame. <laughs> to release the prodigals from the bondage of shame. Because see, shame has kept them away from repentance. Amen. And so we're going to ask God to heal them and deliver them from shame. Because I understand that. I, you, you, I understand what that, what that means to someone that have, that have walked with God and, and then made a mistake. Shame gripped their heart. And they say, they begin to think, can God, will God forgive me for what I did? You, he said, but you don't understand what I did. Well, can God forgive me? God will forgive you. God will forgive you. Amen. God is not, we're not here to judge no one. We're not here to point fingers at no one. We're here to pray for everyone. Amen. For everyone that have a desire for prayer right now. So we're about to enter into our prayer. Let's have a moment of silence right now. And then we're going to come back. We're going to start praying. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, 
We apply the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. We put on the whole arm of God right now, Father. We gird about along with the truth. We put on the breastplate of righteousness in our feet, shine with the preparation of the gospel of peace, Father. And above all, Father, we take the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. We thank you, Father, for the heaven of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God with all man of prayer and supplication, Father. Father, we come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help right now in a time of need. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for your word will not return void, God. And Father, I bind every demonic force. We, and Father, as we put on the whole arm of God, we come against the principalities and the powers and the rulers of the dark of this world and the spiritual weakness in high places, Father. We are not allowed this demonic forces to end up to, to continue to, to, to bombard our homes, our families, and our children, Lord God, we bind, we break every demonic assignment now in the name of Jesus. We go into the spiritual realm. We come against this spirit of witchcraft right now. We break this spirit of witchcraft. We bind it up. We loose it right now from its assignment in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, for every man and every woman under the sound of my voice. Father, as we come together in agreement right now to come against the principalities and the powers, God, we are not coming with a spirit of fear because, God, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us a spirit of power. You've given us a spirit of love and a spirit of a sound mind. We understand what we are doing. We have, we have, we have instructions in what to do because, God, you have not told us to, you have not told us to allow fear to come in. You said, you said for us to fear not. You said to fear not. And you said that you was with us. You said that you would be work with us. And you will confirm your word with signs following. So, Father, we come to you now in the mighty name of Jesus. And, God, we thank you, Lord, that we gird up. As we have girded up our Lord, God, we are walking. And we are, we are going into the enemy's camp, Father. And we are taking back, God, everything that the enemy has stolen from us, Lord God. We thank you, Father. Father, we abide in the shadow of the Almighty, Father. I say, Lord God, we dwell in, we, we, he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And I say of the Lord that he is our refuge, he's our fortress, he's our God, and him will we trust. Surely he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler, he shall, uh, 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 and from the, and from the, the nose and pestilence, he shall cover us with his feathers and, and with his wings, we shall, that we shall, we shall trust. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that a thousand shall fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand. Father, no weapon formed against us will prosper, Lord God. You said, God, that you have given us all the power that we need against the works of iniquity, Father, the works of iniquity. God, we are, we are your children, the sheep of your pastors, Lord God, and we are strong in you, Father. Yes. We are strong in the Lord. We are strong in the Lord. And blessed is he that can consider the... The way of the Lord, Father, we consider your way. We consider your way, Lord God. We consider, Lord God, that we are in a path of righteousness. We are in a path that you call us to walk in. And, Father, we clap our hands. We clap our hands and we say, Lord, let the trump of God be sound throughout the land. Let the trump of God be sound throughout the land. And you said to warn your people for the end of all things is at hand. So, God, I release this warning right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God. That the, as the heathen rage, Lord God, the kingdom will not be moved. As the heathen rage against the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God shall not be moved. Amen. The kingdom of God shall not be moved. Oh, Father, I thank you, Lord God, for this time together. Oh, hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. And, Father, I thank you right now, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. Because, Jesus, you... Our God and you are God all by yourself. We can't help you. We can't stop you. But as we follow you, you will give us the strength to endure. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Lord, you said that we will fear no evil. For thou art with us. Your word and your spirit they comfort us. You have prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies. So, Father, we have no need to allow fear to come in. So, Father, we choose to continue to hold our head up. We choose to walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. And, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, that, that, he, that you give it power to the faint and to them that have no might, you increase his strength. 
Father, I thank you right now that you that you are in, you you increasing strength to those that have no power, Lord God. You are increasing strength to those that are faint-hearted, Lord God. And God, I ask you in the name of Jesus right now that you increase their strength, that you will call, that you will gird them up, Father, that you will undergird them, Father, by the power of your right hand in the name of Jesus. That you give that you give power to that you give power to the faint. And that to them that have no might, you increase their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God, I thank you that your word will not return void, but you will accomplish your word, God. I thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, that thou hast... That thou that, that you have called us, that God, we are not castaways. We are not a people that are without hope. We are a people that know that we have a, a hope that of your soon return. And God, you are calling us to prepare the way. So, Father, I'm calling for the prayer warriors right now, as you have instructed me to. I'm calling for the prayer warriors right now, all over that land, Father, all over the listening audience, Lord God. I'm calling for the prayer warriors to, to come forth in the name of Jesus. I call you forth from the north. I'm calling you forth from the south. I'm calling you forth from the east. I'm calling you forth from the West. In the name of Jesus. Prayer warriors, come forth in Jesus' name. And take your position today. Take your position now in the name of Jesus Christ. God has called you. You are coming into the realm. You are coming to the area of the priesthood. Now it's time for you to start operating as the child of God that he created you to, to operate in. Wherefore, Lay it up aside, lay it aside all malice and all guilt and all hypo, and all hypocrisy. You cannot come. I mean, God wants to use you today, so we're gonna put aside all malice, all hypocrisy, everything that's contrary to the will of God. And we're gonna stand firm, Father. I thank you right now, Lord God, that your people are coming forth. And God, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you would. Oh, God, release the fire right now. Release the fire of God right now to begin to purge, begin to purify, begin to clean the hearts, God. Begin to clean up their mind, begin to clean up their conscience, and God, that they will begin to see themselves as you see them in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, God, Father, as, as newborn babies desire to send your milk of the word, so we, Father, desire to grow in the things that you are calling us to walk in, Father. Help us to see and know the, the things that you are calling us to walk in is of you, Lord God. Let us not be deceived, Father, because, Father, the spirit of deception is in the land. But open up our eyes of understanding that we will know where is the hope of your calling and where is the exceeding greatness of your power, Lord to us one who believe according to the workings of your mighty power. Let us not be overcome with evil, Lord God, but let us overcome evil with good. Let us, Father, be that light. Though God, let us be that light, Father. Let us be that light that is shining into the world that the world will not be able to comprehend because, God, we are that, we, you, let us also be that season, Lord. Let us be that salt of the earth. Oh, God, I'm asking you, Father, in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, so we're going to let our light so shine, Father, in this hour that we're living in, Father, that we will, and we will not be consumed. Oh, thank you, Father. I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Now, 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 God is calling us. Oh, my God. God is calling us because, see, we are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. See, you are a royal priest, a royal priesthood. So, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you have called us. You have chosen us. We are a chosen generation, Lord God. We are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, Father. And, God, you have seated us in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Oh Father, for he well he's a prime he's a prime example of a high priest. He's the high priest of us all. And God, you calling us to be priests under him. Oh God, you call us to be priests after all the Melchizedek. Oh God, I thank you, Lord God, that we are your people, the sheep of your pastors, and we are not be moved by the things which are seen, but God, those things which are not seen are eternal, and these are the things that will govern our heart, God. Your word, Father, will govern our lives. In Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord God, that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that we should show forth the praise of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous life. Father, we shall walk in the light as you are in the light. And you God, I remember God when you said, Son, be holy, for I am holy. And God, I thank you, Father, that I didn't understand that word for a long time, Father. And God, even now, I'm still... 
I'm still, oh, oh God, you're still speaking to my heart. You still open up my understanding concerning that word. Oh, God. And so, Father, I release, Father, right now a spirit of righteousness. I release a spirit of righteousness to flow right now upon every heart, upon every soul, in Jesus' name. And, Father, whosoever sin you said remit, we shall remit, they shall be remitted. Whosoever sin we retain, they shall be retained. Father, concerning all these men and women, all these prayer warriors you are calling, Father, God, I remit their sins, God, in the name of Jesus, because you said to do so. I remit their sins, Father. And, God, I ask you to forgive them, Father, right now. If they have committed any sin, Lord God, they will hinder, block, or stop them from moving on into this calling, Father, as a prayer warrior. I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will forgive their sins right now, Father. I ask you, Father, to wash them right now with the washing of the word and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, Father, and purging them, cleansing them, purifying them, that they may be able to go forth, that they may be able to stand in these last days, and having done all to stand, Father, that they will stand with their lungs girded about with the truth, that they will stand with their feet shown with the preparation of the gospel, that they will see themselves standing in the power and in the spirit of your word, God. Let not the works of darkness come against the body of Christ and prevail. But God, you have given us power over all the powers of the enemy. And so, Father, I speak blessings over your people. I speak blessings over your people. I command angels right now to be a camp round about the body of Christ from one part, from, from, the, from, the, from, the, from one end of the earth to the next. Oh, hallelujah, Father. I ask you, Father, let the angels right now come forth and let them go forth with power. Let them go forth in strength. Let them go forth with in, in signs and wonders, ministering the air to the minister to the heirs of salvation, Father. I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. God, I thank you, Lord God. Yo, Shiki Balaraba Show to Larabakai. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I pray, Father, for the fivefold ministry gift. I pray, Father, for the fivefold ministry gift. I lift them up before you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I bind that spirit of compromise. I bind the spirit of fear of the fivefold ministry gift. I come against that spirit of doubt and unbelief against the body of Christ, against the fivefold ministries in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you will breathe. Let the four winds of the heavens breathe upon the fivefold ministry gift, Lord God. Breathe upon them right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and let them experience your love. Let them experience your peace. Let them experience, oh, God, your wondrous, uh, uh, your wondrous presence, your wonders of your presence, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let them experience, Lord God, that deep cleansing and purging, that they will not give in, that they will not quit, that they will not throw in the towel, Father, that they will not look to the left nor to the right because of these ungodly laws that have been passed, but they will stay focused, that they will keep their heart focused on you, Lord God. Oh, God, I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord God, because even when Daniel was confronted because of the laws that was changed, because of the trying to trying to trap the men of God, trying to stop the trying to stop the men of God from from seeking the face of God, Father, the man the man Daniel he didn't allow it to face him. He went to his window as he did previously, and he kneeled down toward the the, the, the city of Jerusalem. He kneeled down toward the the the, the, the temple, and he prayed to his God, and God. The enemies came and saw him, and they took him, and they and they and they told the king and father. The king had made a, a law to throw him in the lion's den, but because he did not compromise, because he did not yield, because he did not quit obeying you, because he stayed in obedience to the calling upon his life, he was not hindered, he was not hurt, and he was not harmed, Father, because you shut the lion's mouth by dispatching an angel by his side. And Father, I thank you that as the body, as the man of God, as the fivefold ministries right now, continue to stand strong, continue to stand firm, continue to, to stand uh, 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 to continue to stand a lifestyle of holiness and righteousness, God, that they will not be defeated. God, you have set them and you have set them, Father, in a place like you did Elijah, Father. You have hid them away from the face of their enemy, Lord God. And God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father, that the fivefold ministries will stand firm, they'll stand strong, and God, they will speak the truth. They will speak the truth. They will not compromise because we got ungodly laws. They will speak the truth. And God, you will be, you, your voice will be heard 
heard in the land, regardless of what, what's going on, your voice will still be heard, Father, and God, the righteous people will still come forth. They will still come forth, God. They will still come forth, and they will begin to shine. They will begin to shine. Oh, God, but just like it did when Jesus came out of the out of the wilderness from being tempted of the enemy for 40 days and 40 nights in the land of Zebulun, in the land of Nephilim, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, the light sprung up. And, Father, the darkness was not able to comprehend that light. And so, Father, I thank you that we will rise and we will shine just as Jesus did in this dark, in this dark, uh, uh, diverse country uh, that we're in right now, God, you're going to you're gonna uh, cause your light of righteousness to rise up upon your people. And they're going to stand firm, God, and they're going to stand, they're not going to be afraid, they're not going to be ashamed of who they are, they're not going to compromise who they are, they're going to walk with you, they're going to talk with you, and they're going to see, God, your reward coming upon them because they will not yield to the work of darkness. Oh, Father, I thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And, Father, they will lead many to Christ. Many will begin to repent. Many will begin to turn their hearts to you. Oh, God, because I heard you say it in your word. I heard you say it in your word. Oh, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. I heard you say, my brother, my heart is I pray for God for Israel live that they might be saved. Father, I pray for Israel, Father. And I pray for Jerusalem, Father, right now. In the name of Jesus. And God, you said, my brother, my heart, my, my heart desire prayer for God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God, right here, going about to establish their own righteousness, not submit themselves to the righteousness of God. Father, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that the children of Israel, Father, I pray for your chosen people, Lord God, that they begin to understand and know, Lord God, that you are God. And God, and as they begin to humble themselves, Father, that you begin to you begin to minister to their heart. God, you bring forth labor. You bring forth men and women of God into their into, into that country to your chosen people, Lord God, and you're causing them to speak your word with holy boldness, and God, you and your word is going forth as a two-edged sword, piercing us even to the vitals, unto the soul, to the joint, to the marrow bone, and God, the people, your people, are being set free from the spirit of bondage, from the spirit of religion, and God, they are coming to know you as the Je as Jehovah uh, 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 Messiah, the, the not the, the the one that have come and is coming again. Glory to God. We thank you for it, Father. God, you you're touching your people. You're touching your people, Lord God. And God, I thank you, Father, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that the people are coming to understand that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. I thank you for it, Father. And God, you are you are showing it. Through signs, wonders, and miracles, God, I call for revival into the Holy Land. I call revival into the Holy Land in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, you're raising up prophets. You're raising up apostles. You're raising up evangelists. You're raising up evangelists, pastors, and teachers to, to go into the Holy Land of Jerusalem. And God, they are going to stand firm. They're going to declare. They're going to preach. And they're going to teach. And God, men and lives are going to be touched and changed and transformed, Father. And your name will be glorified, Father. We claim every soul, Father, in Jesus' name for the kingdom of God. And Father, I pray. I pray, Lord God, for the leaders of Jerusalem. I pray, Lord God, for those that are in authority in Jerusalem, Lord God. I pray, Father, for those that you have set in position of authority in Jerusalem. God, that you will, that you will speak to their heart, that you will help them to understand and know, Father, that the danger that is around them is not a match to the God that, that loved them. Hallelujah. That the danger that surrounds them is not as powerful as the God that loved them. That they do not have to fear that put their trust in you. And as they put their trust in you, Lord God, you're going to show up even as you did for Elisha, Father, when his servant come in and said, that, that they come after us and he said, and he said, look up in the mountains. And he saw the chariots of fire all around. And because, see, God, you're going to open up their eyes and you're going to have them to see, Lord God, that there are more be with them than there are against them. 
Father, I thank you right now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for your chosen people, Lord God. I pray for the apple of your eye, Father, that the peace of God will begin to rest upon them. I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord God, that as the enemy begin to come up against them, Father, you will show the, the, the leaders of Israel supernatural insight. You will give them supernatural insight. God, like you did for Jehoshaphat, you will give them supernatural insight, Father, like you did. And for, like you did, Father, when, when uh, in the times of old, God, and God, you will bring those people to a place of safety, Lord God. You will protect your heritage. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray, I pray, Lord God, for the for the 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 the, the, the leaders, the people that have authority in in the, in America, Lord God. I pray, Father, for the people that have authority in America, God, that you would, oh God, that you would shake them up real good, Father. God, that you would shake them up real good. With, but God, I ask you, Father, that you would just uh, just stir their hearts, stir their hearts up real good, Father, right now, in Jesus' name. And help them to see and know, Father, and understand, Father, that everything that you have established, God, it shall stand. And everything that shall be shaken, everything that shall be shaken, it shall fall. But that what you have made to stand, Father, it is strong. It will not fall. It will not falter. It will stand strong. It will stand firm. And God, your word will not return void, but it will accomplish the thing which you sent it out to do. I thank you, Lord God, for, for the spirit of wisdom and the revelation and the knowledge of you, Lord God, resting upon your people, the body of Christ now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I pray for my brothers and for my sisters. And those of you that have brothers and sisters right now, you need to just start praying for your brothers and sisters right now, your loved ones. Amen. Father, I pray right now for my brothers, for my sisters, Lord God, right now. I lift them up before you, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of the head to the soles of their feet. And as I lift them up before you, Father, God, I ask you, Father, to, I, I, Father, I counsel every demonic assignment against their soul. I counsel every demonic assignment against their health. I counsel every demonic assignment against their well-being right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, I release the angels right now to go forth and to minister to my brothers to minister to my sisters in the name of Jesus. Father, those that are not saved, those that are not walking with you, Father, I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus right now, Father, to supernaturally intervene into their lives. Lord, let not one of them pass off of this earth, Father, without accepting you in their heart as Lord and Savior. Father, I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray, Father, Father, for my, for my wife family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And God, I ask you, Lord God, that you would touch that each and every one of them, Father. God, that you would, Father, that you would uh, set, oh God, I pray for her, Father, in, 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 in uh, Russia right now, in the name of Jesus. That you, Father, would touch this man's heart, God. You spared his life, Father, for such a time as this. Now, God, I claim his soul for the kingdom of God. I counsel every demonic assignment against his health right now, in Jesus' name. Father, I release the spirit of divine help over him right now. God, that he will be able to, uh, God, and I ask you, Father, that as you begin to restore his strength, God, that you will give him the, the ability, Father, that, that you will give him the, the, the courage and the, the, to say no to sin and say yes to Jesus. I thank you for it now in Jesus' name. And, Father, I pray, Father, for, for Sasha, Michelle, Susan, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and Shell, Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord God, that you would touch right now in the name of Jesus. I come against every demonic force that is working against their mind, their will, their emotions right now. Father, I ask you to just touch right now in Jesus' name. Set them free, Father. And God, I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, to wrap your arms around them, Father, with love. And let them know, Father, that they have not been forgotten, Lord God. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Oh, my Lord and my God. Father, I pray. Father, for every prodigal son and every prodigal daughter right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, there are many families right now, Father, that have children that are lost, children that have strayed away. And I'm asking you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch these families, that you would touch these, these sons, that you would touch these daughters, that you would set them free in the name of Jesus. And, Father, I just give you praise. I give you glory for it, Father, in Jesus' name. And, Father, I pray, oh, God, for every sick for every sick person right now, every sick member in the body of Christ right now, Father. Father, whether it's a whether whether the enemy have come against their health or their mind, their will, their emotion, God. Father, I come against every spirit of infirmity. I come against every lunatic spirit, every every epileptic seizure. Ep epileptic seizure. Someone is you. You've been. You've been. You have an epileptic seizures right now, and God right now is 
is, 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 is setting you free from that demonic spirit right now in Jesus' name. You think that it's a natural thing. No, that is a demonic spirit. God is setting you free right now from epileptic seizures in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for that right now in the name of Jesus. And God, I just pray, Father, that you would not only set them free, Father, but you will save their soul, Father. Let the doors be shut that was open that allowed the enemy to come into their life, Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord God, that you touch every man and every woman, Father, Every child of God that is afflicted, wounded, and bruised, Father. Everyone that has been brokenhearted, Lord God. Father, for you for you sent your spirit to heal the broken heart. To heal the broken heart. To set and lift them that are bruised. And to preach the acceptable you of the Lord. To set the captive free. Father, I ask you right now, let the captive be set free. And I ask you, Father, to heal the broken heart right now in Jesus' name. Father, I ask you, Lord, let fervent love begin to penetrate every heart, every soul under the sound of my voice. Let fervent love begin to penetrate, Father, and let your compassion be extended right now. And God, I thank you for it. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Now, Lord God, I'm asking, Father, for a spirit of grace. Let grace be extended and let mercy accompany the grace. I thank you for it, and I consider it done right now in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I pray and I release your healing power upon every man and woman of God under the sound of my voice right now. Everyone that experiences sickness in their body, in the name of Jesus, I come, to, I come against a post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. You foul demonic spirit that come against that, the, 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 emotion, the emotional uh, per, uh, mind of a person. I come against you in the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, the spirit of post-traumatic stress disorder. I bind you now, and I come against that addiction in the name of Jesus that 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 accompanied it, that accompanied that 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 that, that, that illness. And Father, in the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, come out in Jesus' name. Loose that person right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for it. I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you for it, Father. Now, Lord God, I pray. I pray, Lord God, for the uh, for the church at large. God, I pray, Father, for every every man and woman that is going into the house of God right now, Father, for the wrong reason. Father, I pray, God, that you begin ministering to their hearts, that you begin to minister to their hearts, God. Let them go into this church, Father, with a true heart to seek you, Lord God, with a heart to seek you. Father, with the, not just go just because it's of a social event, but God, let them go with a sincere heart, God, just because you there, Lord God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, that you will cause your people to, to, to come to you with a sincere heart, God, in these last days. That they will not allow the enemy to deceive them, Father. God, I thank you for it in Jesus' name, Father. I pray for the uh, uh, righteous cry ministry, Lord God, a man of God that is taking a bold stand, Father, uh, exposing what the enemy is doing, the things that has been done behind the scene, God. I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch this man of God's heart and his wife, Father, that you let your protection, divine protection, be upon them in Jesus' name. And, Father, I pray, Father, for, for that, that as they put this information out, Father, that they will see and know, God, that they will, that they will see and know that what you're doing, God, in these last days, God, you're opening up the eyes of the people that they will not be caught off guard. And God, we will not be overcome with evil, but we will overcome evil with good. I speak blessing, Father, right now over your people in Jesus' name. And for those who just join us right now, Father, I ask you, Lord, that you would touch right now by the power of your spirit in Jesus' name. I release the anointing right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I call for the prayer warriors to come forth. I call for the prayer warriors to come forth. I call you from the north, I call you from the south, and I call you from the east, and I call you from the west. And Father, as we begin to pray on tomorrow at 9 a.m., and again tomorrow at 12 at noon, and then again tomorrow evening at 3 p.m., God, I'm asking you that you will supernaturally impart to these people that's going to come together and pray that you would impart to their hearts the exact thing that you will have them to be praying for, Father, concerning the bite of Christ and concerning Jerusalem. Father, in the name of Jesus, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., 12 at noon, and 3 in the evening, we are focusing on the body of Christ and Jerusalem. Amen. After you have prayed 10 minutes for the body of Christ and for Jerusalem, 
Then if you want to pray for whatever else, you pray for that after that, after that first 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes is dedicated to the for the body of Christ and for Jerusalem. This is our appointment with God. Amen. Those of you that's going to be praying with me, this is our appointment with God at 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, and 3 in the evening. Hallelujah. And I want you to expect supernatural miracles. Supernatural miracles. Because when we come together in one accord, praying according to the will of God, in these hours, 9, 12, and 3, there's going to be a shift in the spiritual realm. And God is going to take a bold stand against evildoers in our land. Amen. Evildoers in our land. How is he going to do it? Because you and I are taking a bold stand for righteousness by calling upon the name of the Lord, making up the hedge, and standing in the gap for our people. Amen. And for the people of God. Amen. That's right. We're getting ready to take up our offering in a few minutes, but your donations and everything, make them uh, just get ready because we're going to be, uh, we're getting ready. To, uh, yes, let me say this also. Uh, next, not Sunday, but next Sunday, we're going to be moving into another building to minister on next Sunday. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. God has blessed us with a new uh, building to minister from, amen, where we'll be able, hopefully we'll be able to start back live broadcasting video, amen, not just audio, but video, we're going to, we're going to believe God that once we get inside this building, that we'll be able to get stuff set up, so we'll be able to bring you live video once again, amen, glory to God, this is, I believe that God wants us to do, and so this is where our heart is at, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so right now, I want you to prepare your hearts. I want you to prepare your hearts to, to give. Amen. The Bible said give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. Those of you that support this ministry with your finances, during these uh, times of three days three-hour prayer times, I'm praying special prayers over your life because I pray more than just 10 minutes. I pray more than just 10 minutes. And I, and, I, and once I pray for the body of Christ like I have been instructed to, after I, after I have kept my appointment with God on those times, that's when I begin to pray for my supporters. I begin to pray special blessings over those that support us financially and in prayer. Amen. We need your support prayer we need your prayer support and we need your financial support amen so we asking you to uh, go to my website at larrybergenministries.com larrybergenministries.com and you can uh, go to a uh, donation button there and you can plant your seed there through the website or you can take an envelope and send your check in through the mail system the post office uh, address is P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. That's Sacramento, California, 95841. Amen. You can make your check payable to Larry Birkin Ministries or New Life in Christ Jesus. Amen. New Life in Christ Jesus or Larry Birkin Ministries. Again, the P.O. Box number is P.O. Box 417913. Sacramento, California, 95821. I want to thank God for all of you that are that are using the uh, uh, the the internet by planting your seed. Amen. And I want to thank God for all of you that are sending in your your support through the mail. Amen. I want you also to send us your prayer request because see when when I go on this fast, I'm gonna let you all know when the fast is gonna come in. Because I want you to send me your prayer request when I go on this fast. I'm going on a three-day fast. It's and it's going to be it's going to be very very soon because I do this every month, once a month. I go on a three-day fast once a month, and I want you to send me your prayer request. Matter of fact, let me just uh, let you do that now. It's, we're going to be going on this fast on next week. 
Amen. Amen. I'm not. This week is is so full. I won't be able to do it this week. But next week we're going on a, a three day fast. And I want you all to get your prayer requests in. Amen. Uh, for the uh, for the last three days of next month of this month, the last three days of this month. That is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this month. That's the 28th, 29th, and the 30th. That's next week. We're going on a three-day fast. Listen to me, folks, because I want you to send me your prayer requests, and I'm going to take them to the throne of God. Amen. And that's going to be on the 28th, 29th, and the 30th of this month. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This month, we're going on a three-day fast. We want you to send us your prayer request to LarryBurgerMinistries.com. Amen. Just go to my website. You can send your prayer request there. Amen. Or you can just email it to LarryBurgens at YML.com. Amen. At LarryBurgens at YML.com. Either way, I want your prayer request. I want your prayer request. I want to take them before God with me. That's on the 28th, 29th, and the 30th. That's next week. Three day fast, amen. It's now this this three day fast is going is going to be a powerful fast. It's going to be a powerful fast, amen. And we're going to we want you to be a part of that. We want you to be a part of that. God called us to go on a three day fast each month. Each month we do a three day fast, and this three day fast is going to be on the twenty eighth and the twenty ninth and the thirtieth. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. And I want you all to be a part of it, okay? Amen. Now, if you got your offerings ready, don't forget, uh, go to my website, LabBurgerMinistries.com, and there you can make your donation, or you can send it in by the mail, uh, P.O. Uh, Ministries, uh, P.O. Box 417913, that's P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. Amen. Now, we're going to pray over the offering. Father, we thank you for this offering, Lord God, that we received today. God, we bless your people. Father, those that are, that are sowing by the internet, those that are sending in by the mail. Oh, Father, I'm asking you for supernatural increase in their finances. I come against that spirit of poverty, that stealing spirit, Father, that spirit that's trying to hinder your, your body from moving forth in the things that you called them to walk out in. Father, I come against that spirit of poverty. I release the spirit of God right now in the name of Jesus upon their finances. I plead the blood of Jesus over their jobs, over their business, over their finances right now. And God, I'm calling in the abundance. I'm calling in abundance in Jesus' name. I come against that spirit, of that stealing spirit. I rebuke you by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, God, you said the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. God, we need the finances to come into the house of God that we may be able to do the work that you're calling us to do. Father, I receive right now the wealth of the wicked going into the hands of those people that are supporting this ministry right now. I release it upon them in Jesus' name. Supernatural finances, bonuses, raises, settlement, supernatural increase into their finances. I release it upon them right now in Jesus' name. Whether they're listening to us by the internet or whether these are the, those that are here with us today, God, I release that anointing right now upon their finances in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. You never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life right now. It's a time to give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your hour. This is your season. You don't want to put this off no longer. Time is not waiting on you. And you not waiting on time. Your time is right now. If you never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, let me ask you right now. Are you ready to make that decision? If you are, say this prayer with me right now. And you that are here, you want if you never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, or maybe you have made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, but somewhere along the line, you, you backslid, you did something wrong, you thought that you... What you, you thought that God was angry at you, you, so you walked away from God, and you want to rededicate your life to God right now. You want to return to God right now. I want to pray for you with you also. So if you listen to me right now, you never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, or you have made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, but you backslid. You want to rededicate your life to the Lord. Say this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin, and I ask you to forgive me of my sin. 
I ask you to come into my heart, create in me a right spirit, and renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God, that you died for my sin. Because I believe this and confess it with my mouth, today I receive you as my Lord and as my Savior. Thank you for saving me. Amen and amen. If you said that prayer right now, the angels in heaven are rejoicing with you and for you. Now, my, I'm going to, if you here today and you have a special prayer request right now for those of you that are here, I'm going to pray with you right now because I know this is something that I do all, I know I just prayed for a half an hour, 45 minutes, but still I offer those that are here for a special prayer request. If they have a special prayer request, I still pray that special prayer request for them. And uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my dear, my dear sister, my dear daughter. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord God, that you was uh, that you would touch her heart, that you would touch her Father in a very powerful way. I release impartations of the anointing that's upon me right now, Father, to flow into her life. And I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that she will guard her heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And let not the wicked things of this world be able to cause her to listen to it more than you, Father. God, let her ears be guarded. Let her ears be covered. Let her eyes be guarded. Let her see those things that you will have her to see. Let her hear those things that you will have her to hear. Oh, God, let her act upon those things, God, that will bring glory to your kingdom. And, Father, I release that anointing. I release that, that my faith for that right now in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it. Amen and amen. Father, and I pray for my dear sister, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And I ask you, Lord God, that you would touch her life like never before. Father, I ask you, oh God, let the gifts be stirred up within her that you place within her, Father. The gift of the Spirit of God, let them be stirred right now in Jesus' name. And God, everything that you desire for her to accomplish as a child of God in this church and in this ministry, Lord God, you will give her supernatural wisdom and insight to do so, Father. I thank you, Father, for the spirit of faith rising up within her. I come against every doubt. I come against every fear. I come against every argument that's been brought over her in the spiritual realm. I loose it off of her right now in Jesus' name, and I release the spirit of the living God to rise up within her to come against and to stand firm for righteousness against the workers of iniquity in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. And for you that are listening to me right now, I just pray, Father, God, that as we have come together tonight, God, I pray that you touch their hearts. Oh, God, those that have joined us tonight, Father, I ask you, Father, for a special touch upon their lives. And God, I ask you that they would, I ask you, Father, that you would touch their hearts that they would join us on this three-day, on this three-hour prayer on m tomorrow and Friday, in Jesus' name, at 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, 3 in the evening. And Father, as they join us, I pray, Father, for grace to rest upon them and the anointing to pierce the kingdom of darkness, in Jesus' name, with their words that you will give them, that they will speak out, Father. Let their words come out sharp as a two-edged sword, piercing the kingdom of darkness and pushing back the forces of hell. In Jesus' name, God, I thank you for it. I release that anointing for it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Well, God bless you all. I thank you for joining us here tonight. Don't forget to join us on Sunday morning here at 9.30. Amen. No, not 9.30, here at 11.30, excuse me, 11.30. We want you to join us Sunday morning at 11.30 right here, same station. And we're going to be sharing with you the word of God that will literally transform your hearts and your life. God bless you. This is Pastor Larry Bergens of New Life in Christ Jesus Church, Larry Bergen Ministries. We want to thank you all for joining us. And Righteous Christ Ministry, God's, God hands upon your life, sir. Keep, keep moving forward. Just keep standing for righteousness. God is going to God is going to do something very powerful in your life. Amen. Just maintain your maintain integrity, and God is going to do something so powerful that all the people that is watching your ministry is going to experience and see the hand of God upon you. 
in such a way. You're going to see that very soon. God bless you, sir. We love you. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Show day. I'm going to tell you.